Hey guys, it's Becky. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. As you can see, this is my Mars Attacks inspired alien leader look. So if you think it's pretty cool, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. If you think this looks pretty cool, stick around. I'll show you how I did it. First, I started off by taping a bunch of grocery bags to a mannequin head, covering that all in one grocery bag so the latex wouldn't stick to my mannequin head, and shaping it the way I wanted with a little bit of tape. Then I took a roll of toilet paper, twisting up long strands of it, and placing it all over the brain in these swirly little patterns, then covering that toilet paper with some liquid latex. It took quite a while and was quite tedious, but as you can see, it was well worth the effort. After letting the mannequin head dry for about a day, I released it with some baby powder and made sure it fit my head. Then I took some liquid latex and baking flour, mixed it around in a bowl to make this thick paste, and I put it on a life cast of my own face. If you don't have a life cast, that's okay. You can use a mannequin head. Just be sure to put down a releasing agent, especially if you're using styrofoam. Now I continue to do this, dipping my fingers in liquid latex and just shaping the way I wanted the eye sockets to go. While waiting for my face prosthetic to dry over the course of two days, I decided to go ahead and airbrush paint my brain with a gray base, and then I added some blue, purple, and yellow color. Then it was application time, so I took some toilet paper and helped glue down my face with some liquid latex. Then it was time to add my face prosthetic. After gluing that on with some liquid latex, I went ahead and added more toilet paper around the eye sockets to help secure it to my face. Then it was time to airbrush paint. I'm using a yellow airbrush paint from Graftobian and I'm just painting the eye sockets to give it a yellow base. Now I'm picking up a green airbrush paint from Graftobian and I'm painting around the eye sockets to help them pop a little bit more and to add a little bit more dimension and I guess life to the brain. After painting my chin with some liquid latex before it completely dries, I'm just taking a paper towel and squaring off my chin and then I'm going to cover all of that with liquid latex after I get it to the shape that I want it to go. Cause you really want to have an extended chin so it looks more like a skeleton. And because I thought my chin needed to be extended a little bit more and have some definition from the jawline, I took another piece of paper towel and just basically put a square right on the edge of my chin, tucking it under and covering it all in liquid latex. Now I'm going to repeat that same process with my upper lip to give me a more extended upper lip and a place to hold my teeth, which I'm going to glue on with fake fingernails I bought from the dollar store from $1. After I get all my teeth in place, top and bottom row, I'm going to paint my jaw to match my eye sockets with that yellow airbrush paint from Graftobian. 
I'm also bringing that yellow into my brain just to give it a little more interest and definition. After I've done that, I'm taking an orange water activated paint from Mayron and I'm painting my gums, top and bottom row. And now I'm painting my chin, the top of my gums, and I'm going to move on to my forehead and brain with some green. You really cannot go wrong with this look because each of the aliens have a little bit different color pattern and a lot of people do a lot of different colors, so you can't go wrong. So put color wherever you think that you need it to go. Now using a black water activated paint from Mayron, I'm going to paint in between each tooth just to give it a little bit of definition. And because I thought the teeth were a little too white, I went ahead with some water activated yellow paint from Mayron and I painted all of the teeth yellow. Later, I'm going to paint them a little whiter because I thought I got them a little too yellow. Now taking some black aqua paint also from Mayron, I'm going to paint the inside of my lips and the side of my jaw just to give it some depth and definition, just selling the fact that we only have teeth and I don't have real lips behind it. Then I'm going to paint the tip of my nose to again create the illusion that I don't actually have a nose and it's more of a skull. Continuing that same process with my eye sockets, later I'm going to put in some fake eyeballs, but we do want behind the eyeballs to look like a complete dark hole. Using some nonstick cooking paper, I cut out the shapes of the flaps that they have on the side of their face. I glued them on with some liquid latex. Now I'm taking some Graftobian airbrush paint in the color Clotted Blood, and I'm just giving them a red tint. I'm going to bring that red into the top of my gums and the bottom. Now remember I said I thought my teeth were a little too yellow, so I'm taking a Mayron water activated paint and just giving them a light dust of white to bring the color back. Now I'm taking a yellow water activated paint and giving myself some of those bones that co connect the bridge of my nose to my gums. Then it's time to move on to my neck. The aliens have a thinner neck, so I'm just going to start off with a orange color and then I'll give it some dimension with red and then some white. I took some eyeballs that I bought from the dollar store and drilled holes in the center of them so I could see, then added a cape and a cheap squirt gun from the dollar store, and this is my completed Mars Attacks alien look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a message right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.